Hey, hey, this is Scott. So I'm going to re-record uh, lab one. I just recorded number two, but there's a couple things that I think are missing in this one. So I'm going to go through this pretty fast because you can refer to the first recording. So I'm just going to tell you what we did. And then there's some plots that didn't come out at the end. So I'm going to do those. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just clear this. And so um, basic commands, I'm just showing you here how to create an array, um, you know, showing you down on the, the lower left panel. Again, the way I'm doing this, I'm just holding the control key and hitting enter um, on my PC, and then it will execute those commands. Again, I covered all this last time what in much more explicit terms. But again, I'm just creating an array. I can add arrays together. I can do the length of the arrays. I can add elements together. Um, and so I can list, I can um, remove objects. Um, so you can see which objects are there. Um, remove all of them. Uh, I can do help right through it. So the question mark with matrix yields this help box in the lower right um, what matrix actually does and then I, I can apply that matrix command I'm going to create um, two by two these are the elements that I'm going to I'm going to insert one two three four and since I'm going to do that by rows and, and columns I have a two by two now if I wanted to do um, this and then I want to do this by uh, columns and, and by again I'm sorry by rows so right here by row true means that I'm going to fill the rows first um, so that's what's going to happen with one two three four so it's going to go um, across the top and then to the next row then to the next row we hopefully you get that all right and then i can do the square root across all elements within that matrix i can square the matrix as well um i can create a vector of 50 random normal variates so standard normal that would be mean zero standard deviation one um i can you know, add, um, I can do correlation between the two, obviously normal to normal, high, highly correlated. Um, I can set the seed so it's reproducible. When, so when I do the random stuff, um, I can reproduce that versus another seed will will create a different, different one. I can create an average using the mean, right? So the mean of line gives me quickly that I can do the variance of that I can do the square root of the variance would be the standard deviation which again which should equal just the SD function as well and then now let's get into some of these um, graphics that I was talking about which are a little sparse so plot X Y that's just a scatter plot random right X and Y should see noise um, and then I can also do that color blue. Um, I'm going to skip this one. What this does, just so that you know, because I'm not going to take time to do it, this is actually going to create a PDF. Um, and this time it'll be in green. And so it's going to put that on my default um, file folder or directory where I am right now. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can do a sequence, right? So 1 through 10 with a sequence function. Um, or I can do that 1 through 10 with a colon, 1 to 10. What is that? I can do a sequence of negative pi to pi uh, as well um, with, a, with a grid of 50. Um, and I can look at what that looks like. So that's 50 of them. Um, it's a grid of 50 between negative pi and pi. Um, 
I can push uh, X into Y. Uh, oh, let's see, I can create all kinds of functions, you know, with um, cosine, sine, etc. All of this stuff exists. And then what's really cool is I can create like contour plots from those functions. Um, so, and I can even add to that, right? I can add levels. So it's almost like a, a gradient. Um, I can uh, create additional contours here. So pretty cool stuff, really. And I have a whole playlist on ggplot2, and you should check that out if you're really into plots, because ggplot2 is an amazing um, package within R. Heat maps, uh, both uh, here is, is uh, continuous. I can change the, the perspective of a surface. I can move that, rotate that. I can do all kinds of stuff, like view from the top, etc. So, and then let's see what else I have. Uh, let's see, I hope that took. Yep, it did. Okay. All right. Oop. Opposite way. And um, ooh, sorry about that. Unable to access index. Okay, I've got um, maybe not. Uh, this is a different machine that I normally use, so I may not have all of the all of the functions. But the, but I've pretty much gone through everything. I created this part two. You'll see that video out there as well. I'm going to call this 1B, and then you'll see 2 and 3, etc. Um, so anyway, I hope this was meaningful, and it showed some of the contour plots that were missing in the original Lab 1, Part 1. So please give you a thumbs up, and... Let me know your comments, whether the series is worthwhile. Thanks. Bye.